Today I'm going to walk you through a comprehensive wrist mobility routine. We start by holding the uh, wrist or the forearm just below the wrist uh, and practicing internal and external rotations with the closed fist up to about maybe 50% capacity. Then stretch your arms out in front uh, and start extending, um, opening and closing the, uh, the hands as much as possible, shaking your wrists out vigorously to the side. Uh, now we move into the uh, part where we start interacting with the floor and try to put uh, a tiny bit more pressure uh, on the wrist. Start rolling your wrist um, around the base of your palm uh, and up to the first knuckle. Explore the limitations that you might be feeling or facing and your finger extension by moving side to side and also lift the first knuckle off the floor and perform high frequency pulses towards the ground. Still working circular motions further on, uh, only this time the movement will be initiated from the shoulders. Um, you can work circles both directions, um, this time bilaterally, uh, exploring how much pressure you can put in uh, your wrist extension uh, and then further on maintaining the uh, the movement and grabbing your arm by the elbow trying to push uh, slightly further uh, onto your wrist uh, and all the while keeping your scapula uh, relaxed so that the shoulder can collapse you can basically push your whole arm uh, like a rod uh, side to side, exploring the difference uh, it makes by adding that pressure from your opposite arm placed on the elbow or just below, uh, using your whole body as a leverage and your upper arm as a longer lever in order to apply more pressure uh, and demand more from your wrist, uh, which will over time give you a lot more mobility to play with and increase your capacity uh, in terms of locomotion or hand balancing. And now we will practice the same circular motion but in the context of an internal shoulder rotation for further integration of the shoulder element in this uh, wrist mobility routine. Uh, bring your fingers in towards you and practice both directions Bring your wrists together and link them, uh, fingers facing outwards, and start swaying side to side, moving side to side into uh, wrist extension. The closer your wrists will be together, the harder you can make it, and the further apart they are, the easier it will be. You can end by, again, putting some pressure onto your wrists and acting as if you're trying to drill a hole into the ground with the base of your palms. And now, of course, we have uh, practiced the extension of the wrist and we can try practicing the flexion of the wrist as well. Um, orient the fingers towards you and try and sit on your heels. Feel the stretch across your forearms. And this might feel a, a tiny bit strange at first if you haven't um, worked it a lot. But um, it's important that we work the opposite of every movement or any type of uh, practice that we are doing. Progress to initiate a slamming movement, uh, alternatively into the ground, uh, all around your wrists. So play around with the areas, the side, the base, the back of the wrist. Um, and then initially you can try to build up the rhythm, try and maintain the rhythm and work alternatively at uh, different points on the floor and then link the hands together and synchronize them, slamming them into the ground, uh, not necessarily in the same place. You can play around with the areas uh, and at the end, try to put a bit of pressure and uh, shake them almost as if you're trying to shake a bracelet off your wrists. And now move alternatively from one side to the other first extension then flexion and 
see exactly how much pressure you can put you can orient the fingers towards each other or you can orient them backwards uh, try to play a bit get creative and and see exactly how much you can uh, you can lean on them and how well protected they are over time you should aim to progress in these prescribed uh, warm-up routines and use them as a way of checking uh, checking in with your body seeing how it feels and seeing how much you can ask from it during the practice and uh, remember that dialing up by one percent uh, each time you practice the routine will have long-term effects